Now, over the last few days, Al Jazeera has been tracking the effects that climate change is having on the world's landscape and its people. In his latest report, Nick Clark sails into a storm. Here's how he reached this point. The entire journey has taken him from the west coast of Greenland to Canada. He's completed the first leg of the trip and is now leaving Greenland. When you check out of the top of the world, passport control is on the beach. That's a yeah, picture that's, of the boat. Yeah. But that's, that's like a big freight. But yeah. Not, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Rudy Schmidt says he likes life here, but there is a troubling side to his work. I don't want to hide. They have a problem with the alcohol, maybe. Mm -hmm. But it's all over the coast, west, west coast or the east coast in Greenland. Why do you think that is? my own opinion maybe it's have, have been fast uh, change from the 60s up to the up to now there is no question the children are walking into a different world from their forefathers back out to sea and the conditions are getting nasty so it's all got a bit grisly grunt yeah it's miserable we're uh just trying to find some shelter and find a um, good anchorage for, for tonight. We anchor, but things get worse. An Arctic storm is on its way. What we're going to try and do is uh, jump across uh, the bay uh, between two weather systems. So we've got another system coming in in about uh, 36 hours, and we'll try and get across before that one comes in. The barometer keeps falling. On deck, it's a cold watch. It's a strange place to be at 2 o'clock in the morning. For 16 hours and more, we just motor around in circles because the wind's too strong to anchor and the open sea is too far away. Finally, after many, many hours, at last the weather breaks. As Paul, our onboard microbiologist, plums the depths, on the surface, there's no sign of the expected sea ice. Well, the sea ice is really important for the life that lives here because it's adapted over thousands of years to the presence of the ice. So everything from you know tiny little single-celled creatures, the sorts of things that Paul's been studying on this trip, up to 100-ton bowhead whales, they all have their niche that relies on the ice and the, the flux of nutrients through that ice. And so, as the ice retreats, a crucial environment is literally disappearing into the sea. It'll be interesting to see how the Canadian Inuit view their future tomorrow. <laughs>